Filmora 14 versus Filmora 13. In this video we will do complete comparison of features of these two versions of Wondershare Filmora to see is Filmora 14 worth using or not. Stay connected till end so you don't miss a nithing. So without wasting time let's get started. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, Filmora 14 unlocks new possibilities for visual storytelling and effects, taking video editing quality to the next level within your breath. In your timeline, click on the clip on which you want to apply planar tracking. Go to AI tab and enable planar tracking. You have WO models, auto and advance. Adjust the position where you want to track. Click on Analyze, Filmora will process the movement of selected area throughout the clip. Once tracking is complete, create the new element, in this case we will create rectangle to cover the sign. Now select the clip and find link element. Use the element you just created. Adjust the scale and position. Now let's create the text we want to put into the sign. Drop down the menu and choose the text you just created. Our desired text on the signboard is done. In this way you can easily create do tracking. In Filmora 13 there is no planar tracking option, but still you can do this editing in Filmora 13 also. Filmora 14 just made it more efficient. Let's move towards next feature. In order to use this feature, select your all clips, right click and create multi-camera clip. Here you can choose synchronization method. Click on compound clip in timeline and select multicam button. This opens the window showing all camera angles. Just play the clip and click on clip and Filmora will swift to that camera angle. In this way you can fastly edit your amazing video. This new feature allow you to create path for keyframes. This makes the animation more smooth, efficient. The end result looks like this. In order to keep the video short, we won't FO in much details of this feature. AI sound effect allows you to create your own desired sound effects with simple prompt, this saves time for searching on internet for the sound effects. Let's move towards the next feature. In the color tab, choose AI color palette. Import your reference clip and click generate. You can make adjustments to color strength. By this feature you can apply any movie or series colors to your video clip easily. This feature is same as a Filmora 13, it allows you to auto-reframe your clip. We won't go in much details as you already know about this feature. Open Effects tab and select Face Mosaic, Filmora will automatically detect faces. You can choose which one's face to blur. Just single click and your face mosaic is done. This is amazing and time-saving future. Filmora now has the Video Enhancer feature, which will novert your low-resolution video to high-quality video with the help of AI in few seconds. These were some of the features of new Filmora 14 as compared to Filmora 13. AI Face Mosaic is my favorite. Tell me which feature you like the most. Like, share, and subscribe to Jugar Expert for more helpful and informative videos. Thanks for watching.